Hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, hi guys, it's me, the third one. And here today's video, we will... Hi guys, it's me, the third one. In our today's video, we will talk about this problem. This problem is under the six trigonometric ratios of trigonometry. At isa lang to sa mga possible na may encounter yung problem kapag kayo na yung magiging topic niya. By the way, meron tayong video with regards to the six trigonometric ratios at ilalagay ko siya sa ating description box or makikita nyo rin siya dito. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So basically guys, let us have the problem. Sabi dito, if sine theta is equal to 5 over 13, find the other 5 trigonometric ratios. Sa mismong video natin, or kapag pinag-usapan natin yung the 6 trigonometric ratios, yun yung mga sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Ayun yung 6 trig ratios natin. And this problem, given na yung mismong sine function natin. So, we have your sine theta, and your theta is your acute angle. So, sir, paano nga ba yung solve yung mga ito? Before kasi natin mahanap yung mismong ratio, meron muna tayong kailangan gawin. So, since ito yung ating sine theta, sipin natin mabuti ah, yung sine theta natin is equal to 5 over 13. And remembering kung ano ba yung ratio ng ating sine, uh, sine uh, ratio that is opposite over the hypotenuse. Opposite over the hypotenuse. Ngayon, para mahanap natin yung other 5 trig ratios, kailangan makuha natin yung adjacent side. And syempre, para makuha natin yun, we need to do something. And since trigonometry ito, at meron tayong hypotenuse na pinag-uusapan, involved dito yung paghahanap or yung paggamit ng ating right triangle. Since yung ating hypotenuse is equal to 13, yung ating hypotenuse ay ito ah, it is always opposite to your right angle. This is 13. And para ilagay natin yung 5 natin, di meron tayong dalawang acute angles, tama po ba? Pwede natin ilagay dito yung acute angle natin. And then, this is your opposite side. Acute angle, opposite side. And ito yung nawawala, yung ating adjacent side. Okay? So, kung nawawala yung adjacent side natin, since right triangle yan, we will use the Pythagorean theorem, which is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. Kasi pag nakuha na natin ito, we, were, we will be able to find cosine theta, tangent theta, cosecant theta, secant theta, and cotangent theta. Okay? Try natin. Your hypotenuse is 13. So, 13 squared is equal to your opposite, which is A. Pero pwede rin naman to. So, you have 5 squared plus B squared. And 13 squared, that is 13 times 13, that will give you 169 is equal to 5 squared, which is 25, plus B squared. Transpose natin sa kabila, it will give us 169 minus 25 is equal to B squared. And simplifying 169 minus 25, that will give you 144 is equal to B squared. And we're not yet done because we need to find the square root of 144 and B squared. Square root natin, square root natin, and your B is simply 12. Ito yung B natin. So, ibig sabihin, yung adjacent side natin is 12. Since kompleto na yung sides ng ating right triangle, we have the hypotenuse as 13, this is your opposite side, which is 5, and your adjacent side is 12, we will be able to find the cosine. Yung cosine natin, that is adjacent over the hypotenuse, again, adjacent over the hypotenuse, so this will be 12 over 13. Adjacent over the hypotenuse, ito yung adjacent natin. Again, again, in the markings, this is your opposite. Adjacent. At yung hypotenuse, matik na yan, na opposite siya sa ating right angle. And for the tangent naman, ako, uh, pwede lang dahil, tangent is equal to opposite over the adjacent. So we have um, 
5 over 12. Pero ako, kinukuha ko yung sa ano, numerators ng sine sa kanyang cosine. So, that is 5 over 12. Yan. Pwede yan. Check natin na 5. Opposite. Hypot uh, adjacent side, which is 12. Tingnan yun mismo yan. And for the cosecant naman, since reciprocal ng sine, cosine, tangent, ang cosecant sa cosecant and cotangent, pwede nyo nang reciprocal na lang itong tatlong to para makuha nyo sila agad-agad without using the right triangle. So ang cosecant natin, this is 13 over 5. Kasi reciprocal ng 5 over 13. And for the reciprocal of cos cosine, that is second. So reciprocal nito, that is 13 over 12. And for cotangent, that is the reciprocal of tangent. If this is 5 over 12, this will be 12 over 5. Ganun lang kadali kung paano uh, isolve yung gandang problem. Uh, don't worry ka, kasi isipin nyo agad, Sir, paano yan? Uh, ganti yung problem natin. Huwag yung masyadong damdamin yung problems kasi may mga solution yan na kailangan natin gawin. Ang kailangan lang, alam mo, yun, alam, alam mo yung prerequisite ng mga topics na meron ka. Or I mean, what I, what I mean by prerequisite, yun yung mga topics na kailangan mo at nauna or before itong mga topic na to. So I hope na natulungan ko kayo sa video na to paano masolve yung gandong problems with, with regards to the six trigonometric ratios in trigonometry. Kung meron kang tanong about our topic or this video, feel free to comment down below. At kung meron ka rin naman mga requested topic or video that you want me to discuss within this channel, feel free na ilagay siya sa ating comment section. And by the way, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, I'm Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!